you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. Steve Jobs at Stanford, 2005. <laughs> I'm honored to be here with you today and to share with you my story, which is connected to this great quote. My name is Wasim Abu Salim. I'm 24 years old from Nazareth, Israel. I'm a lawyer holding a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and working right now as a project manager at ISOC IL. I'm MEPI Students Leader Alumnus from Montana State University and right now a men's delegate. As an Arab citizen living in Israel where the educational system offered different classes and courses for the white society, unfortunately I realized that separate but equal attitude impairs the Arab community in Israel and its future in several manners. For example, me and my sister, Mira, when I was at age 13, we really wanted to learn how to code and to know more about computer science. But we lived in Nazareth. The only option that we had is traveling far from our hometown, Nazareth, in order to participate in such classes which were taught in Hebrew, not our, 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 not our mother tongue language, which is Arabic. So that was the defining moment in my life in which I knew that I need to try finding a solution for the next generation, for the Arab community, especially the kids, who may face the same problem as I faced at that age. So I started my journey attending the university with a special dual degree program and finish it successfully, a special dual degree program of computer science and law. Knowing that being a lawyer and a computer engineer will definitely help me try finding a solution for the next gener generation. <coughs> I start to make some research and today there is about 1.7 million school kids at age 7 to 16 in Israel. Among them, there are about 400,000 Arab school kids. So you can imagine how many are they like Mira and Wasim, who, want, who look for learning coding and computer science but can't find a help or guidance. I start looking what's the situation worldwide and found that since 2014, a couple of countries started to teach coding and computer science in early age and teaching it in, during classes in the educational system. So I thought to myself, why not filling the gap in Israel and trying to offer these kids a solution which may help them through guidance and giving them help, offering them mentors so they can build and develop their ideas. Imagine how we can help them unleash the hidden potential of these kids. My dream became true in last December. I started my initiative loop. As Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. So we successfully reached about 400 school kids, Arab school kids, and it was an amazing experience. Doesn't work, okay. <laughs> That's your fault. <laughs> so the idea behind Loop, which I think it's the most important slide. <laughs> it's okay. The most important thing, uh, the most important thing about ide the idea behind Loop is that everyone can learn how to code. It doesn't matter how old or young you are, the next big application could be developed by a 10 years old kid who may receive Loop's help. The idea behind Loop as well is that computer science stu university students will teach the kids and they will receive a salary in order to pay for their uh, university studies. And these kids will have a mentors and help to develop their ideas in early age, which eventually will help the community, the community will benefit from. And these kids at age, let's say 10, 
and the future will, uh, will be the mentors for the next generation. And that's why I named it Loop. My vision is giving every kid and every school kid the opportunity to learn how to code. As I said, through giving, offering them mentors, support, guidance. And in the long term, I have a vision which is based on three phases. Developing the computer science knowledge among the Arab community in Israel. Encouraging more girls to learn computer science and coding. And in the long term, empowering more Arab women in the high-tech field in Israel. And three, using technology in order to reach peace. Peace building through modern technology, in which I'll be holding classes of Arabs and Jewish kids who will learn and develop together ideas reaching coexistence as well. Our part in Loop is trying to provide these kids a new way of education. And once we start to give them a new way of education and a new valuable set of tools, they will start thinking differently and act accordingly. They will start to develop their ideas and build their startups making our life much easier and our future much better. <coughs> Just providing them the key to success. A great quote by Confucius said, if your plan is for one year, plan twice. If your plan is for 10 years, plan trees. If your plan is for 100 years, educate children. And that's why I believe that through Loop, I need to invest in the next generation trying to educate them through technology. That's the system that I built for myself. That's the way I want to make my journey go. And that's why it's connected to the quote I started with. And that's why I know that this quote is connected to what happened to me since I was at age 13. And that's why I attended the university and that's why I'm here today. So I believe that we need to invest in the next generation through teaching them technology, because everyone should learn and have the opportunity to learn coding. Thank you so much.